Hello everybody and welcome back to Extreme Comics this week's episode 166 and we get to talk about DC Dark Knights of Steel. As always, thank you for joining us. Tell your friends, your family, anyone who wants to listen to Two Idiots Read Comics. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. Let's get into it. And welcome to the best damn book club on the internet. My name is Ryan Talmadge. That's Davis Crocker. This is 280's Reading Comics. And today we are reading Dark Knights of Steel. Woohoo! Episode something. 166. Oof. Um, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of feeling old. Yeah, buddy. Ugh. So yeah, we're, we're recording for the first Tuesday of September, but we're recording the day after somebody's special 29th birthday. One year closer to the big three zero. That You're apparently everybody that everybody apparently worked like I'm. Like after my twenty first birthday, getting to drink legally, like birthdays are now just another number. Like, like honestly, like twenty six was special. I was like, all right, or it's either twenty six or twenty seven. It's like, all right, I can't get drafted anymore. <laughs> 27, I think, because I think while you're twenty, the last year. I think while you're while you're twenty six, you could be drafted. Yeah, I had a kid, so well, I'm also past twenty seven, but either way. I was going to say. And I was uh, the only male in the family, so only male child, so I wasn't getting drafted either. I don't know how Dude. that works, because I have a half-brother. We share the same dad, though. So the youngest would get drafted. Wow. Well, that's that's so weird. Sad. I remember like looking up the rules like when I, like when we turned, what we had to do, we had to enlist it. Had to do the 18, thing at 16? 18. 18? Yeah. And like all the weird rules of like, can't be flat-footed. Uh, of course, no injuries, which football screwed us over. We got <laughs> football kicked us out of that yeah, <laughs> getting sad. drafted. Uh, then it was like the first male heir will not be drafted, but the second will. And if you're the only male heir, you won't be drafted. Like like one of the old Fine rules of me. old rules of lineage. Yeah. Um, but if women really want equality, they should sign up for the draft as well. But that's a, that's a topic for a different day. So. Um. But no, I, uh, I'm i not handling it well. Uh, <laughs> it is fun. People message me and they're like, how do you feel about it? I'm like, I just feel like time's running out. And I don't know what that means to me, let alone them. Well, yeah. I mean, so they're like, are you okay? I was like, <laughs> I, get, I oh, could be over just, soon. <laughs> just if something just shows up on your doorstep from me, don't really look into it real hard. Just accept it. Like if you start like like if like people that are about to commit suicide usually start giving away their possessions, oh. like really personal things to people, uh-huh. and then if those if you just started I'm, sending those out, I'm nowhere near. <laughs> uh, I'm nowhere near uh, suicide. Then. That's just one sign of like. Oh, well. I mean, you could just off and do it and be done with it. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll at least write down the list before. Write down the list. Yeah. Jeez, in your suicide letter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, not a lot of fun. So. <laughs> so in saying that, if turning 30 is not fun, we should plan a party to do for your 30th birthday or plan to go somewhere for your 30th birthday. I'd be down for that. What would you, there's no sporting events really happening on your birthday though. No. Or always baseball. football camp. Yeah. So what would you want to do for your 30th birthday then? I don't know. I will say this. If I'm not under 300 pounds by the time I th- turn 30, you get to punch me in the face on camera. Ooh. And whatever you do with that video. Is so, yours. folks, today is August 19th at 3 10 p.m. We have a verbal contract, and I will most definitely fucking do that shit. Okay. But do I need to also reciprocate that back? <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> no, my ass is. I, it, it's getting it's getting pretty rough. I'm back in the field again and, and not eating as much now. I'm back in the yeah. field, and it's helping, especially since he came along. Like I spent two months here at the house. Yeah. Then we spent another two weeks in the office. And now I'm finally back out in the field again. It's like, okay, I need to do something drastic. Like, yeah. like everything, like all the what I used to call the muscle leftover, personally what I called the muscle leftover. Yeah. Is just compl- it's there's no, like there's there's no, yeah it's yeah. been gone for years but my brain it's like oh yeah. well, I, I can 
We just had this random residual strength where you can still lift more than the average person. Oh, yeah. Trying, but, no. Nah. Yeah, I did something the other day. or I, I've done it a lot, and especially when I started, I could lift stupid shit, yeah. and everybody in the office was like, oh, god damn, okay. Uh, and I did something the other day that shouldn't have been a problem. Yeah. And uh, I picked it up and I put it on the shelf, and the guy was like, "Damn, man, how do you do that?" And I'm like, "I'm okay." It's like God. It's like I have like I I can feel yeah. like like the shit that is still like too much for like you said like just anybody yeah. that didn't play sports for years. That was always my favorite. It's it like, like I'm like, be careful, this is heavy. And sure. Like, All right. Dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's heavy, but yeah. it's, I mean, it's okay. It's not. Um, yeah. that's I I can start like in the last year I've really started noticing like the little thing like like mm. doing like picking up heavy things and starting to actually like i have to i have to prep to pull it it's not just yeah. reach down and get it anymore it's like make sure you use proper form yeah it's like it's not i can just reach down one-handed and get shit anymore it's yeah. like Ur, okay i'm <laughs> although that baby keeps getting bigger you'll be right there god dang curling his ass up every day it's a big I think old he's like blockhead. i think he's like 25 pounds now 20 pounds something like that it's ridiculous. he's four months old and he's heavier than shit Big old chicken nugget. Yeah. But uh but still, I even though it's like I'm not ever wanting to get back to like football strength, like college no. level strength, but just to even physically get in a weight room or doing anything is just like tough as a motherfucker. It's just like no motivation. It's just yeah, no motivation and and god dang, how many years were we were we in a weight room or or anywhere working and we literally had five coaches screaming down on us I know. to I do mean, shit and keep going. And you're in a group. Yeah, in, in a group. So right, if you're lacking, group. people notice that. Oh, group. yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're, you're doing more to keep everybody else from talking about you or yeah. talking down to you about it. And it's like just going in. Like, I've gone into it's like You'd rather fail and let that bar hit the rack than oh, yeah. not do all your reps. Yeah. It's like, and then going in like the hotel rooms and I'm just in there by myself. It's mm. like, I just sit down on the bench and I'm like, um... Okay, I guess I'll do this. Yeah. Okay, that hurt. I'll do this. Okay, that hurt. Yeah. I just get on the treadmill for like an hour and a half. It's like I f- did something, but I didn't do jack shit for what I need to actually no actually start losing or doing any weight. I just killed time for an hour. Yeah. Made myself feel good mentally for yeah. an hour, and then that's literally the only. Then reason the next I day, ever... I eat McDonald's for lunch because we're driving seven hours down the road and have to get somewhere yeah. and pull into a drive-through. And no, the mental health aspect is the only reason that somewhat motivates me anymore. Yeah, it's just like, oh, hey, that and like going to sleep. I know if I go work out, I won't lay there till two o'clock in the morning. Dude, yeah, the hotel. Back being in a hotel again, it's like, okay, I have to shut my phone down. Like I mm. have to. Like I've almost thought about going in my my phone and doing the, like like shut time down limit. yeah like yeah. shut down at X time mm-hmm. to to stop social media and stuff. It's like because yeah. I got in the bed the other day at the hotel and I was just scrolling on on YouTube real like YouTube Shorts and yeah. Instagram Reels and I was just scrolling. All of a sudden I looked down it was midnight. I'm like, I have to be up in five hours. Yeah, that's what happened last night here. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, he didn't call me out for sending him Reels at two o'clock in the morning. Well, see, I don't get notifications for it, so I don't, um, I mean, it, it just notifies me once I open my phone, but, yeah. or like open the app, but I ain't got that shit. Dude, if we left that shit on for ourselves, we, you and I would be getting so many noti- notifications oh, yeah, throughout do. the day. Oh, you have the notification? Have oh, yeah. good Lord. <laughs> I also have the time limit, on my, time limit on my thing, but now I've gotten so used to just hitting like, give me 15 more minutes. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. If you just, if you just yeah. hit it again, then you. Yeah. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. No, it's uh, I'm pretty good at making that shit addictive. So. Oh yeah, I mean, you talk about the only everybody's gotten to like this one minute tension span. It's like or, or yeah. less. Oh yeah, it's like, oh, totally understand. Like, mm-hmm. cool. Listen, if, if if honestly, if the reel in the first five seconds doesn't ca- like, it's like, oh, okay, next, yeah, next, next, interesting, next. The it's only thing like, that saves me is. The weeks we do recordings, because I'm like, no, I have to read this tonight. Yeah. Thursday and Friday is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. That and like if I have TV shows going on. That'll help you. Like right now, a show called on Stars. there's a show called Heels, which is like a Friday Night Lights, but Mm -hmm. pro uh, pro wrestling type of deal. That's right. Um, It's good. And then they also have a show that used to be on HBO Max called Minx. 
And it's about uh, this feminist who wanted to start a magazine, but the only person that would publish it was a porno mag. And it's like set in the oh, 70s. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she makes a feminist porno mag with a bunch of dudes in it. <laughs> but surprisingly enough, there's also a bunch of tits in it. Yeah. So I'm like, Fuck it. And it's kind of That's funny. hilarious. Um, it's got one of the guys from New Girl, the one that everybody loves. I can't uh, remember. Like the main, the main chick or the one that? No, it's the guy from oh. New Girl. The one everybody oh, loves. There's like brown beard. Sure. There. I don't know. Anything. There's three three white dudes in it. That. <laughs> yeah. I think he's the only one with a beard though. No. Um, I never watched New Girl though. No. So. Um, and then Hard Knocks is on right now. Oh yeah, we and gotta then, watch Hard Knocks. Of course, Knox. wrestling. Okay. So. Should have two hard knocks, right? Yeah. Well, and you're talking about TV shows. You're trying to finish up Clone Wars yeah. and any of the Ahsoka stuff because Ahsoka for us comes out next Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I am, with the way TV shows have gone recently, I am very skepti- skeptical. I'm trying not to put my whole heart into it. Oh, yeah. Because it is Ahsoka. But this is Filoni's put, baby, though. It is. And, I mean, like, he um Filoni and the Favre. voice actress that oh, did okay. Ahsoka in the shows mm. uh, had an interview, I guess it's been a couple of weeks now. Uh, and they were just sitting there and she was talking about how like, yeah, Filoni would tease me every week about how Ahsoka was going to die. Yeah. And then he would all of a sudden give me a sad script to start reading. And then like my emotions, cause I think Ahsoka's dying is coming mm. and you just, and they panned to Filoni. No, fa- uh, yeah, Filoni. which one's wearing the cowboy hat all the time? Filoni. Filoni. And he's just sitting there with a smirk on his face. I'm like, yeah. oh, you've been de-. like, yeah. <laughs> like he's sitting there just so ready to just yeah. drop everything. Um, but I, I hope it's okay. I, I just I'll tell you what, I'm this close to just waiting to hear about Marvel stuff. I don't know what movie Ooh. they have coming. Uh, I think they have like one more this year. Uh, the Miss, not the Miss Marvel, but the oh, it Marvels. Is the Marvels. Yeah, the Marvels movie. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna wait and see on that one. Uh yeah, I'm not. There's they need like, to start I have bringing zero. Um, they really need to start bringing to some people out. together and get this next Avengers movie out. Yeah, because like, I don't know what the fuck's going well, on. Well, now we're sitting in the weird problem of Kang. He's out yeah. for sexual harassment. No, I think no. he got. I think they figured out that she was full of shit. So he is okay. Yeah, I think he's okay, or at least last I heard, it was trending that way. Oh, okay. Um. But we've also got Loki season two coming out, which I'm okay with. Yeah, I'll probably watch. That's that. October six. Okay. Good lord, that's still a long way away. <laughs> Technically, for us. Yeah. Uh, of course, the Marvels. Uh, Echo season one, but that's November 29th. I don't have Daredevil in it, so I'll give it a shot. Yeah, but I still understand how you're getting an entire TV show out of her. You're not. It's gonna be Daredevil light. Eh, okay. Uh, Iron Heart series. Don't care. In 24. Daredevil Born Again. I'll watch that. A series. That'll probably hurt, but yeah. I'll watch it. Um, and then Deadpool at some point in 24. Oh, May 3rd. It is May 3rd. I was going to say, that got moved up because some other stuff got moved back. Yeah. Captain when is America, this Blade movie coming out? Uh, mm, Captain America Brave New World is July. Holy shit. So you're going to get Deadpool on May 3rd and Brave New World on July 26th. Yeah. And then Thunderbolts at That's the if end of the year. The writer strikes, ha- or well, and the I, I would SAG imagine strike hasn't messed any of this up. I would imagine. I think anything, Deadpool's already in. Put, like I think Ryan Reynolds hurried some stuff. Yeah, and they're in like post production. I don't know I, about the rest of it. I would imagine anything that's coming out in twenty four is is safe. Okay, let me rephrase. Not TV wise. Oh no no TV wise yeah definitely wise movie wise I think anything I remember anything twenty four I think it's safe. Yeah, unless you're at the back end of 24. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think everybody in every movie should be okay in 24 because everything should have already been written and, and it's and, definitely written. And uh, the only thing is if it's going to get trapped in post production, I don't think those post production count in, in the strike that's happening. I don't think they're under strike right now. Uh, oh, they probably Blade, Blade is apparently or <laughs> supposed to be in February 14th of 25. Oh, okay. So you can definitely bet that's getting pushed. Yeah. Uh, I just remember uh, listening to Fat Man Beyond with Kevin Smith and Mark, Mark Bernard, and and they had a project that was apparently they were like about to sell it when all the strikes went down, yeah. and so they had to stop. 
and they were just talking about like how how if you want brand new TV shows in January of 2024, they needed to get started like two weeks ago. Like the writers needed to get back to writing to have time to film and then air new TV shows in January. And that was like at the beginning of August. Jeez. And the strike started what, back in? The writers started. In May? Yeah, like middle of summer, early then the summer. Then actors struck like in. A month or two ago. Yeah. But I mean, we're working on. What, a month three? It's close to 90 days. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and some of the shit them studios have done is kind of fucked ooh, up. So apparently, I know. So one of them out came out and outright said, "Is like, yeah, when Christmas comes around and they don't have enough money for rent, well, that's when we'll go back to the negotiation table." Yeah, they're yeah the the big wigs are already saying pushing yeah. them to the brink of destruction. And then they, uh, I think it was Universal, I think, uh, cut the trees in front of their yeah uh, out on the by road. their sidewalk yep. and. To do that, you have to go through the city or whatever. Said so no one went through the city, and no city official told them to cut that down. They just hired someone to cut the trees to like ding near just the trunk. Oh yeah, so they wouldn't have any shade. Yeah, which I mean, especially coming off of COVID. Yeah, and all of these major companies have had the biggest booms in their economy. Yeah, them they have had the biggest mm-hmm. booms. They've made the most money over the past few years. Yeah. Not, I mean, Disney, HBO, Warner, all the big wigs. Yeah. I mean, shit, Walmart, Target, mm-hmm. at Home Depot, everybody. And it's left the rest of everybody sitting there going, wait, hold on now. You complained to us that y'all are having your worst years yeah. ever, and yet your Until profits stock, are now yeah. tripling. Mm-hmm. But then you then come back to us when we're working for you and go, we can't really afford you because yeah. it, cause we're in such hard economic that or times. It's not or it's are not getting numbers. Or HBO is just going to axe half of their fucking yeah. uh, list because they need to write off some taxes. And all those uh, numbers we don't have to make uh, public, public like actual TV does. Yeah. Which we I can think, lie about anytime we want. Like you and I have talked about, it. I think there's a lot of the streaming companies that are kind of what this strike kind of about is so they yeah. can get their streaming, some sort of streaming um, residuals off of yeah, it. Yeah is the streaming companies, I don't, or like what we think is they don't want to actually report it and oh, tell yeah. the people what they're actually getting streamed yeah. because it's going to be way less yeah. than what they're telling the stock stock brokers or stock yeah. market, whatever. Either they're lying to the stock market stockholders or, or they're lying to the writers. Yeah. And some tells me they're lying, well, possibly to both. I think they're, they're going to lie, they're gonna lie to, the, get their stock they're gonna lie to the stock market first. I think both. Well, definitely both, yeah. but you're going to lie to the stock market because that's mm. where your real money's coming in. Yeah. And then two face the writers and yeah. actors. But, who it's a. Uh, Not to mention at the same time, like, the inflation is so high right now. Like, the first thing to go, like, I see all these right wing YouTubers just dunking about how all these big companies are losing money. And all, like, the big entertainment companies. And it's like, well, yeah, we're headed towards a recession, possibly yeah. a depression. Yeah. The first they, thing to go will be entertainment. Yeah, it's 08. I mean, they everybody's looking at this like 08 and 09, yeah. so they're prepping for an 08, 09 to yeah. try and maybe not have an 08, 09. So, yeah. every, I mean, everybody's reacting, trying to prevent yeah. what happened in 08, 09, mm-hmm. yet because of that, it makes it look like we're already there, Yeah. yet we technically haven't reached that dire situation yet. Yeah, yeah. Imagine this. I well, maybe heard, not for like, big companies, but on the radio the other day, uh, and again, this is just the local yeah. guys in Birmingham listening to them, and they were like, "Even how bad it is now, it's still not as bad as what it was in oh eight oh nine. Yeah, is that oh eight oh nine was so much work? Like just mm-hmm. comparatively to no their, one in, saw that yeah. one coming, except for like the three guys from the Big Short, of course. Uh, so it's like. As much pain as we're in now, it seems like it's being drug out longer yeah. to to what some say weather the storm. Uh flatten the curve, as they would say three years ago. Yeah. Uh to now it's just feels like everything's painful. Like everything hurts. Everything's too fucking expensive. It's it's just Well, not to get too political, it's also like everybody in America's hurting, but yet we're like Oh, you misplaced six billion dollars, and this person spent this much money to do this, and yeah. it's like, 
Okay. Whatever. These folks are gaining money through the stock market on the boards that they are a part of. Oh, my God. Dude, I saw. Oh, and that's happening. And, and there is a guy who, I guess he made some type of app, and you can, like, put your info into it, and it'll automatically invest. Like, you can pick which politicians you want to follow. Oh, And it shit. will automatically invest your money to the percentage of how they invest their money. And do is up like 30% over like oh, yeah. two years. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, they make their money from the stock market. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's, that's, and which is bullshit. But, but the fact, because they have to actually, because of that new rule, they have to provide the trades they make. Now, granted, 90% of people don't go check that. But of course. Someone smart out there was like, I'll oh, make a whole, it. I'll make it. a whole app that yeah. follows just politician wow. uh, stock market trades. That's insane. Mm. Well, yeah. So, world's in a shit hole. Shit hole. Yeah. But, but today we have a fantasy book. Woohoo! Yeah. So we don't have to think about that shit. Damn right. It's our escape from reality. Yeah. Uh, we read DC Knights of or Dark, Dark Knights, Knights of, of Steel. Steel. Yeah. Uh, you want to go ahead and credit some people? Yeah. Let's get this over. Uh, we got our writer Tom Taylor, artist Yasmin Putri, and Bingle. Colorist Arif Prianto and Yasmin Putri. Letterer Wes Abbott and collection cover art by Yasmin Putri. And again, apologies for any names I've butchered. We are ignorant backwoods southern. I'm from the suburbs. I am not. Yeah. Um, I'm from as close to deep south as you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was I about to say? This I enjoyed a whole lot. Oh yeah. Um, I think the only thing it suffers from is the fact that you know a few years ago it seems like they were just throwing out like a bunch of like uh, non-canon stories, just hoping some would stick. Oh yeah, yeah. And so I feel like this—that's what happened here. And so he put in a bunch of stuff instead of like saying, "Oh, okay, this works. Let's spread some stuff out." Yeah. Because this could turn into a long series. Um, which I think it had the potential to do. Oh, it's still going. I know, but yeah. like he threw a whole bunch of shit at the wall oh. to get it like, oh, this has this, 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 and this, oh, this. I got you. Instead he, of like a slow burn. He loaded He loaded the like book. Like the fact that... He loaded the book so that if they wanted to in a year, they could pull this arc, this arc, this arc, and this arc. No, no I'm talking about uh, like the fact that Lex Luthor, the Joker... And what they call the Green Man, which is he has a Green He's Lantern green ring. Lantern, yeah. Instead of having those be three different characters, like Luther should almost be Littlefinger during this whole thing. I'm like, yeah. this could have turned into a DC Game of Thrones. Yeah. But you had to get so many characters in I there I to sell you. the comic. Gotcha. You had and, so that way you could say, oh well, Green Lantern's in it. Yeah. Lu- Lu- uh, Lu- Luther's Luther. in it. Uh, Joker's, Joker's in, Joker's in it. Yeah. And then there's other like uh, Etrigan the Demon is also Raz Al Ghul. Which is, I actually really love that a lot, actually. I well, was, well, he was, not that he is Roz, not that they are one in each other. Yeah. They just, Roz has tied himself to Etrigan. Yeah. Well, I think. To be Etr- a deep, to. I'm pretty essence, sure become, Etrigan a has, or has a human form. I oh. just don't, ex, like, explore it all oh, much. Okay. Uh, or we haven't. But, um, and then also Raz Al Ghul is called uh, the head of the demon or yeah. whatever. Um, so it was clever, but at the same time, like. Like in Game of Thrones where you had the Church of the Fire, you could have had yeah, yeah. Raz al Ghul be the head of True. that and stuff. It was just like, I'm like, if we would have just mm. taken more of a chance or like believed in this book just a little bit more, yeah. he could have like spaced more out and you could have literally had like a Game of Thrones type True. series. Uh, Kind of like, uh, so. But they were like, no, we just throw everything wait, in it to see if it hits or not. Yeah. And apparently it did. I I really enjoyed I it. I like it. I, I do agree. Uh, I love the idea that not just uh, Superman, Clark mm-hmm. Kent came. Well, he wouldn't. He's not Clark Kent. This he's uh, Kal El. Kal El. Yeah. Because him and his parents both came back. Yeah. Uh, and then it also put put them back in medieval times. Mm. Uh, now the black guy with lightning is that Black Bolt? Black lightning. Or black. Or? Yeah. Is it? I always forget his name. I like I the character, but I've, we've never read anything Black of him. Bolt is a... Uh, That's the one that doesn't speak in, in yeah. X-Men. Yeah. Which also doesn't make sense because he has nothing with bolts of lightning. No. Interesting. Uh, 
Dude, this was cool. Uh, but I do agree with you. Is like, like he dies. The lightning guy. Yeah, I always forget the name of the town he's in. He they already killed his son. Mm. But instead of using him to keep pushing for a war, yeah, they kill him off like six pages later. Yeah, while he's on the ship, it's like I definitely feels like you could have carried that a little bit more. Yeah. And let him keep. Well, I don't pushing. think you can be afraid to kill people, but like no, no. But I feel like that one. But out like, of all the other death and like destruction in this, I feel like his death was mm-hmm. a little too quick. Like, yeah. like also, you could have let, like there should let be him more hang around. Kingdoms too. Like yeah, because right now we only have three. Even in season one, you had uh, well, the, the North, the Lancasters, Lannisters, uh, Lannisters, uh, the uh, Baratheons, Baratheons, and then you went through the Twin Towers. Uh, the Targaryens. Yeah, you also had Targaryens. Uh, was it Twin Tower? That was uh, was it Tim's? Yeah, no. something like that. Something it's like the that. dude with like he had not a fourteen fish. children or something. Yeah, yeah. Really and he also had the bitch. people at the wall and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, I, okay, yeah. I wish they couldn't like if they would have if someone would have believed in this book like right away been like yeah let's do it he could have like taken his more time with it instead it seems like. They just tried to throw a bunch of characters in there to yeah. get people to read it. But I also feel like if you did that, and granted, you can definitely tell. And I'm that not these saying guys this should be this. cloning Game of Thrones with no, DC heroes. But you can definitely you, tell that if they had went that far, yeah, this everybody, series has legs, and I don't yeah. think they knew if it did or not. Everybody would have been like, "Oh, well, you just re- rewriting the Game of Thrones script." Yeah. So I mean, they. I like that they. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's like I like that they brought it back, but yeah. then needed, like you said, instead of. Lex Luthor, Joker, and Green Lantern all being one character. Yeah. That could have definitely at least been two, if yeah. not just give them back to their three. Yeah. Uh, and you would think the Atlanteans would be somewhere. Oh, else. I bet you. I bet if this continues, uh, they've got to show up. Yeah. Or sure. they're just staying away to just stay away. Mm-hmm. I mean, they could just be just completely staying out of all this shit. Yeah, true. Uh, Batman being the brother to Superman, to yeah. Kal-El, that's... That was pretty dope. He was the Jon Snow. So, we do agree that the Kal El that killed Batman is not the actual Kal El. I think the Kal El that killed Batman is Kal El. I but think the, crypt- the Kryptonite didn't affect him. Then maybe not. I but- definitely don't think the uh, what's the sister? Uh, Her name? Because I don't think it's Supergirl. It's not Super. But it, it's it's supposed to yeah. be Supergirl, but. I think the sister that killed the son and killed Black Lightning is definitely not. Uh, Zala. Yeah, Zala I, don't think, I don't think that's the real Zala. No. What, the one doing the killing is not the real Zala. Yeah. yeah. The only reason I don't think the jor is is because as soon as Batman, Kel- like Kryptonite, yeah. as soon as he, Bruce, touched the Kryptonite, he passed out. True. Yet he handed it to jor wrapped up, mm. and it shows him holding it while stabbing Batman, and it does nothing to... Jor-El. Well then, I have a Kal-El. very good hunch, a hunch of who it is. Oh, it's because it's, if it's the prophecy. Yeah, it's it's Green Lantern Joker. It's no, oh, it's Martian Manhunter. Oh, that's so much better. It's the, the man, Green Man. It's the yes. man from the stars who comes in Ags on War. Yes, yeah. that would be so much better than it and being they Green thought Lantern. it was the uh, the, the Green Lantern. Elves. Yeah, and no, it's fucking. Martian Manhunter. Him him fulfilling all the prophecy, not yeah. not where they were filling half of it and the yeah. other. Huh. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's that's much better. That's what I would have gone with. That's much better. Uh this is fun. It's oh, yeah. like I love the I'll definitely like as soon as they come out with volume two, I'm definitely getting that. I love the Elts World stories, especially mm-hmm. when you get like this weird of oh, a yeah. of a turn. Uh Going through, I'm going through the dungeon right now with all the people and there he's just captured. Needs to be more fantasy comic books in general. Oh yeah, there's one we have it on our want to read list. Uh, it's the Winds of something. Um, but Winds of Numa Numasera. Yeah, Numasera. What's that from? Uh, it's uh independent. I forgot who it was, but uh, Omar from his name's Omar from Near Mint Condition. Mm-hmm. He uh, he had it on his list of top reads last year. Oh, cool! So, all right. And I was like, I've been wanting some fantasy. So, uh, you can definitely tell with this is like going through. I'm at the dungeon right now after he cut off Oliver's arm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I recognize some of these. Definitely the Flash. Yeah. Uh, King Shark. 
I don't recognize that and the, the fact green... that like the elves don't know some of these aren't magic users. <laughs> well, it's a weird thing. It's kind of like like is everyone with a superpower magic? Well, no. Okay, all. if you're talking about magic, then the mm. Jarrells need to be locked. And, and and that's where yeah. it got me confused. It was like, well, they're the ones locking people up. I know, but it was just like, even Batman was like, oh, yeah, it's because of magic users. I'm here. I'm like, okay, and if that theory works out, then it's because of the Jarrells that are there and their magic yeah. that you are now lost your parents to yeah. magic. It's like, it's like, okay, we haven't. I understand it's the Middle Ages, but we haven't discerned from this happening because of science and not it, magic. Yeah. Uh, because in actual DC canon, there is a difference. Barry oh, there's a hundred. Oh, yeah. Barry Allen is definitely science. Barry science, King Shark science. Yeah. The monkey is science. Yeah. I don't know the dude in, in a, he's in a silver suit with horns. There's a dude with wings. Him. Silver uh, suit with horns. Oh, okay. That's I, I recognize a couple of them, but I don't. Um, That looks like Blue Beetle Alien type, maybe. The silver possibly with the or horns. the yeah the horns there that could yeah. be possibly be uh blue beetle um yeah the one with wings the one with like wings it, I don't know who that is looks like they pulled that straight out of X Men yeah um, no, that's what I was like you just ripping X Men characters yeah off I thought they I could have sworn there was more characters they showed in the dungeon but I guess not there was a couple scenes in the dungeon so yeah. but yeah no. either way um it's a lot of fun if you. Didn't read it. I don't know why uh, we're here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you should definitely check it out. Uh, it's fun and quick. Yeah. And there's technically, that's the first six issues. It's supposed to be a 12 issue miniseries. Um, now I feel oh, like it's just a miniseries. Oh, I didn't I know think, it was just a. I think it's of 12. Oh, so. okay. Now I don't know. I feel like it started coming out a while ago. No, it just, I was 20, still... 21's what the. Yeah, twenty two is when the volume came out. So twenty one is when it actually aired. Yeah, yeah. twenty twenty one to when, present. I don't think they have an issue twelve yet, and they no, don't have no, the volume two yet. yet. Yeah, and so not I'm yet. like, well, it's definitely been twelve months. So yeah, um, hell, it probably could have been some one of those stupid things like TMNT did. It's like, oh uh, well, yeah. we'll take like a three month break or a two month break, and then we'll we'll yeah. pump out the rest of them later. Mm, but. Hopefully they'll make a nice hardcover copy someday. Oh, if if uh, this unless hopefully the, will unless the back half is just horrible. <laughs> well, yeah, if the back half's horrible, then well, it's all screwed. Yeah, but this was fun. I I love this a lot actually. Mm-hmm. All right, just thumbing through it, seeing if there's anything else, in it, but not really. No, it was a. Uh, I mean, it had a whole bunch of setup. Uh, is there anything just stood out? Oh, I think Constantine's fucking somebody over here. I think he's playing some. Oh, you think he's little finger? Yeah, I think he's the little finger in this. I think he's playing a secret. I don't know. He's secret seen, game. I would make him more of the spider, where he actually the, the unit. Oh, oh, is that called um, the spider? I yeah. don't remember spider. Oh, um, I feel like he actually cares for, oh, for like a better term, the realm. Yeah. And uh, he's just trying to... But he'll do whatever it takes yeah, to... Yeah, he'll hop to whatever leader he needs to yeah. that he sees fit best. But yeah, no. Um, unless you got any other final thoughts. No, that's it. Uh, I was just... Um, oh, I love how they they put Poison Ivy and uh, Harley Quinn back together. Harley Quinn is low-key, like, the most competent person in this entire story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is... Accurately, how I was the about to say, is supposed to be yeah. portrayed, but they know everything, but are mocked and yeah. are portrayed to be knowing nothing. It's like it's easier to take bad news, yeah, if they're funny about it. So, uh, but I, lo- I love how they they took the Harley Quinn of like the TV show where they're de- she's mm-hmm. dating Ivy and they're together oh, yeah. to put it also in this medieval I comic. They're doing it across the board. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. But cool. No, but other than that. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else. No. Um, so I guess after that, go to our personal recommendations. Yeah, uh, I've got one ready. Okay. It'd, it'd be go short. Ahead. Uh, we were talking about Netflix today and talking about how we're probably close to both of us probably getting rid of it if yeah. something else changes. Uh, but they put suits on a couple months ago, 
it's old. It came out. Oh God, I don't know how Why many years. Why is that ago. like blowing up? I, dude, I don't know. But I, I always I watched like two episodes with you. And I was like, this show is dumb as fuck. Yeah, well. it is dumb, but I guess that's why I like it. It's just stupid and dumb, but not like an endearing way. It's just like, dude, we, are these supposed to be smart lawyers? Because they're not very. They're good. crooked smart, but they do everything air quote legally. It, it's they play in the gray area. Yeah, I get it, and. I guess that's what makes it fun is because it's like, oh, no, we will do what it takes. And it will be legal, but it's not going to sound legal. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, it is old. It's, like, it came it out years like ago. someone with ADD wrote that shit. Oh, it's 100. Each scene oh, is literally like 30 seconds long. 100% somebody sat down with ADD and they was like, okay. Or, or 15, 15 writers were in the room. It was like, all right, write Let's a one-hour episode. Table of cocaine or a plate of cocaine on the yeah. table. And it's just like, all right, you 15 – Writers make an hour show. Everybody mm. gets part of it. And they just... It's ridiculous. But it's old. I mean, again, it's old. It's fun. But after that, Netflix, I've seen like Nef- Netflix is going to have to do something. I've seen a bunch of reels come out about it. And it's just like, why the fuck would I watch Suits? And then like two hours later, they're done with season one or something. Yeah. I'm just like... Well, Lincoln Law... Though, I watched two episodes of that. And I was like, this is dumb. Apparently, shit. Suits came out. And apparently, there's Lincoln Lawyer now. Netflix rebooted. It, it's again another lawyer show. Uh-huh. It used to be. I don't know when it used to come out, but they rebooted it and it's back out again. And now everybody coming off like the hype of Suits is jumping on that and saying it's really good too. So like, for some reason, lawyer shows are back in popularity again. How dare that? <laughs> well, something's got yeah, taken thrown from. But yeah, heroes. we're ending shows like Jack Ryan. That makes no sense. I don't. I think uh, what's his face, Jim from the Office. I think he's tired. I can see where he's different. just tired of it. Yeah. yeah. Also, it wouldn't surprise me if that budget started outweighing its viewership. Uh, yeah. I mean, with where there's a lot of stuff filming. Like that's a lot of on location stuff. Yeah. Like it isn't just something you throw in a mm. in a back alley and film. It is like. Okay. It it's a lot. It is a okay. We got to fly to Kuwait to film like in the, front of the. Not the Whatever. final season, but the year before. That was the Russian one, right? Yeah. Uh, where they have to go through this tunnel and then detonate a nuclear bomb. I was like, ain't no one in America got a tunnel like that. No. So. So, so what you got? Um, Mine is going to be a song I sent you. Uh, I'm sure now that it's a month old. Yeah. Or half a month old. Everybody's going to know about it. But this song, uh, Richmond, North of Richmond. Whatever your political views are. It, is it the white dude with the red beard? Yeah. Playing the, almost like a banjo guitar? Yeah. It's really, oh God, dude, that song is. Yeah. Um, Whatever your political sides are, if you can't relate to that song, or it's just like, hey, the people, the politicians are kind of fucking this up and making it hard for everybody else. Yeah. Uh, that's basically what that entire song's about. I've already seen some people trying to make it political and shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah. People and, automatically assuming, or like. Uh, associating it with try that in a small town. I'm just like, which even try that in a small town. I mean, that's just annoying. I, it is annoying. I mean, th- I listened to the song and then the whole time I'm listening to, like, I was people like, I think this shit's good. Like, okay, one. Okay. The song's fine, but also like, how is this? How are y'all like equating this to anything? That's like straight up racist. Yeah. It's like, it's just don't try to rob half or burn half the town. I mean, you know what they're talking about. Oh, I know what they're talking about, but yeah. it's, it's, I don't know. My thing is just like, it's antagonistic and it's just like. Oh, it's 100% antagonistic. I'm just like, you just wrote that because you knew it would fire up a certain uh-huh. side and they'll fucking just rally behind it and yeah. you'll make a shit ton of money. But the guy you're talking about, the first. Yeah, no, he, that guy. No, he wrote that song, he wrote that song just yeah. to slap. And it. Pretty much slap, shoot at the politicians. Yeah, and blew him up. Like, literally. Within two days, had seven million views on YouTube. Yeah, and uh, he I just saw a video yesterday where apparently he someone offered him an eight million dollar record deal and he turned it down. But, well, right. I mean, he's like, I know, it's like I've been doing this for like two or three years now, and I'm saved up for all the good equipment. Yeah, sounds fine the way I do it. But uh, plus, and I mean. Mm. And he's got one song. I mean, it's kind of one of those. It's like no, he's got. Oh, you listen to more? I haven't listened has to more of them. A whole bunch of songs. They're yeah. all as singles, but like he could put them all on one record and release it yeah. if he wanted to. 
There's a few that were pretty good. I didn't it, sit there and listen to everything. I mean, and the only bad thing about like what he's doing is like, yes, it is. That song will be played for years yeah. because it is, it's very poignant of the yeah. situation we're in right now. But like him, him, his, he's kind of one of those, I fear he'll probably end up being like a fly by night, like one hit wonder. I hope, I, I mean, know. hopefully not. Maybe he's got he another something. song called I Gotta Get Sober. Yeah. And it's pretty fucking good. But what I guess I'm thinking of is the damn yodeling kid in Walmart. You know how he blew up and this went ain't all over fucking the yodeling yeah. kid. Just like everybody put all their stock and like, oh yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna he be the next to, hit. He's gonna be he went to the day show and uh, all these concerts he, and all this shit. And it's like I don't think he, he did anything. Do Yo no. But he I remember I saw somebody put a comment on there that like this dude plays at our local uh swap me or where it's like a flea market. Yeah. And last year or last week he was playing uh in front of like fifteen people who just stopped while they were shopping. And uh, they announced he was going to be at the flea market again the next week after it, the song hit. Yeah. And he had like a thousand people there to watch him. Jeez. In like a small town in West Virginia. Wow. Yeah. Um, that and I saw a whole bunch of people and was like, oh, wow. It sounds like if you take the clap track out and make people play their actual music, yeah. country music can be good again. Right. Uh, and there's been some guys that are trying to do it, but again. When the radio stations, you only play the top 10 yeah. hits, it's you're never going to listen to them. Who the fuck listens to the radio anymore? Me, when there's no service in the backwoods we're driving through. Well, that's dumb. Yeah. But. Well, yeah. It, no, I like that song. And as a person who hates both sides and just politics in general. Oh, yeah. It's, it's absolutely perfect. It's like I hate all of it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. But. So, yeah. Uh, go check that dude out. And I guess if you want, go watch Suits. Yeah, go watch Suits. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, next week it'll be Strange Academy. Woohoo! And we'll have our shit list. Shit list. I gotta find one. Hmm, gotta, yeah, I'm sure we can find one. Yeah, I'll find but, something to complain about. I'm pretty no, good at it. That's easy to do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.